Okay guys, today we're going to do a review of a Bobcat 337 mini excavator. Uh, I understand that these excavators are no longer produced. They've been replaced by the E50 and the E55. But uh, this is a review for anyone who's interested in possibly purchasing a used one. So let's take a walk around the machine. We'll give you the good, the bad, and the ugly. The 337 and 341 machines will put you in the 6 ton size class for the mini excavators. Uh, this is a G series model in particular. D series and C series vary slightly. Uh, but this is the more modern version. They produced these from I believe 04 to about 09 or 10. Uh, it is 78 inches wide for the dozer blade. The 337 standard arm will give you 11 foot 9 inches of digging depth. The 337 long arm or 341 will give you 13 feet 1 inch. It has a 48, both machines are powered by a 48 horsepower Kubota diesel, turbocharged. Uh, this machine comes standard with the quick exchange system, which is this bar. So you pop this pin off. I know it's a little tough to see with the snow. Pull this pin out. This pin will slide out and your bucket detaches. It's a very simple way of detaching it. Uh, you have your standard quick couplers. That'll be plumbing for your hammer, your thumb, etc. It comes with a standard blade, a, you know, straight blade, no angling. It has a pivot cylinder, so you can independently pivot the boom, left or right. Uh, the good things I like about this machine is its power. It has incredible bucket breakout force. It has a very nice reach, just under 12 feet dig depth on this particular model. Uh, this is the interior. This has the full cab heat and air. The seat is very comfortable. This cab is very comfortable to operate in. You got plenty of room. Uh, you got a nice amount of headroom here to get in and out. This machine is equipped with the keyless start system. So you'll have to enter a code to start it. I'll enter the code now just to show you. Uh, this is the dozer blade with the two speed toggle. And if you look over here, you have your auxiliary hydraulic toggle switch. You could do the switch here. And this is for maximum flow. This is for variable. Uh, these are your glow plugs. Uh, the fuel warning light is on. Temperature gauge, glow plugs, fuel gauge. Uh, once the glow plugs are done, it'll switch over to hours. And you can switch that up from its actual hours to job site hours to the RPM. Well, now it's back in glow. This is your auxiliary hydraulic button and this is your light switch and this will also act as the code so if you have an error code you can press and hold this and it'll give you the error code the password you can turn on and off that's another feature that I like at this particular time they were the only excavators that offered it uh, this panel is your safety you pull this down you're good to go pull this up the controls lock out it has the selector valve so you can switch between ISO and standard flow it has the foot pedal that's for the independent boom swing and this is your travel pedals they work great you can open this door this door here the front window will retract up and the two side windows will pull either way back or forth Another feature I like about this excavator is it's a swing open tailgate and everything as you can see here is in reach. Oh, got a leaf there. Okay, so this is your this is your antifreeze, your coolant fill. This is the radiator in here, so you got easy access to it. I think you could fill that with coolant up there as well. That might be your overflow tank. Uh, engine oil easy to reach fuel filter easy to reach battery right there it can't get much easier than that you've got the starter right here this is the starter you got the muffler the air filters inner and outer you got your hydraulic oil uh, view gauge and you fill it right there uh, this is your exhaust pipe hydraulic pump so as you can see there's a 
plenty of access to your routine maintenance items. Here's your dipstick for checking motor oil. Uh, your fuel bulb. A little storage compartment there in the tailgate. And this is the fuse box. So that's one of the things I like about this machine. You have plenty of room to access everything you have to. Come up here. This gives you access to the hoses, valve body. That's your windshield wiper fluid fill box. This is your fuel fill. Like I said, you got access to the radiator there. Hydraulic oil filter is right there. And this panel pretty much easily will flip down. It's got a lock right here. Push the lock in. This panel slides down. So this machine you can fit hammers, thumbs, augers, etc. with the exchange system. They're all interchangeable. Like I said, you get standard quick disconnects. These machines can be valued anywhere from 10 to 30,000 depending on hours and condition. Um, I give this machine an overall five stars, A plus rating. Um, if you're looking to get into the six ton excavator market, this is definitely a machine to start with when you're doing your comparisons. Uh, Caterpillar, they rate their machines a little differently. So just be wary of the differences. But this machine is a straight up workhorse. I've owned it for close to 3,000 hours. It's done everything we need it to do. I've only gone through one drive motor. I've had minimum issues with it. So I highly recommend this machine. It's not a tier four compliant machine. So you won't have too many issues with that. Uh, like I said, it's a very smooth, nice machine to run. So as I say, highly recommend it. I give it a grade of 100 out of 100. It's definitely a good machine to own if you're in the six ton size class. So that's my recommendation. As far as buckets are concerned, you can go from a 12 inch to a 36 inch trenching bucket, and you can use a 52 inch grading bucket, and it'll also come with a roto tilt if you want that as well. So a lot of attachments available through your dealer or through a uh, off market. So as, so this machine, Definitely highly recommended on my list. Okay, guys, take care.